Hey guys, in this video and maybe the next video or so, uh, we'll be creating our HTML. All right, so it's going to be strictly um, display. We're not going to use any PHP. We're just going to create our template and then we can integrate it into our application later. All right, so as I said in the last video, we're going to be using the foundation framework. All right, which is very similar to Bootstrap. Um, so what we're going to do is click the big download button at foundation.zerb.com and there's a couple different options here. We're just going to create, uh, create, we're going to download the complete package. Okay, so let's um, open that up and this is what you should get. CSS, images, folder, JavaScript. Okay, JavaScript has the foundation JavaScript file. We have jQuery, Modernizer, okay, just some libraries that Foundation comes with. Um, so what I'm going to do is create a folder on my desktop, and I'm going to call this AB HTML, and I'm just going to bring over this, but I'm not going to bring the humans text or the robots text. All right, and if we open up our HTML folder, we get kind of a, a sample. Oh, All right, sorry about that. Kind of a sample uh, template. So let's go ahead and open up the index page. All right, so we get some things we want to change here. Uh, let's start from the top. Uh, the title. Foundation welcome. Let's change this foundation to Ajax address book. Um, let's see, it's including the foundation CSS file. Modernizer, not sure if we need that, but I'm just going to keep it anyways in case we do. Um, and then we have the row system. And you can see uh, with Bootstrap, it's pretty much the same thing. We have a, a class named row, and then for whatever columns, we have just large 12 columns as the class. Um, so it's very similar. All right, and you can see down here we have different columns, six and six. Uh, in that row, this row has um, three, four columns. So it's very similar. So what I'm going to do is just get rid of the entire body, okay? Every all the code that's in the body, uh, down to the last div, okay? You can see that uh, at the bottom we're including jQuery and the foundation JavaScript. We're going to have uh, one more JavaScript included, which will. Um, is, which will be where we put our Ajax code and all that, but uh, we'll be doing that in the application. For now, we're just going to focus on the template. All right, so what do we want to do? Let's create a row because we're going to be using the grid. All right, and let's see if we can look at the final uh, result here. So this is the row right here, and we're going to have a, uh, a heading and then a contact button over here. So to do that, we're going to have two six column, two six column divs. So div class uh, large six columns. All right, we want two of those. And in the first one, we want the heading. So it's going to be an H1. Um, we'll say Ajax address book. All right, and then in the next one, we want our button, which is going to be in a link. So class, whoop. Okay, now the class, we're going to have our own class of add button. 
and then we want our foundation classes so that we can format that button to look good. Okay, so we want the class button. Um, I want to float it to the right, so we'll use that class, part of foundation, and then small because I want it to be fairly small. All right. Now we're going to be using our modal uh, when we click on it. You can see it in our final version. If I click on it, it brings down this modal. All right, and you can get that code at foundation docs. Uh, let's see. Right here, reveal modal. Okay, that's what it's called. And this is the basic code. We have a link. Uh, and you want to put in that link this data reveal ID attribute. And that should be equal to, actually, that can be whatever you want, but you need this, this ID. Okay, so they click on the link and then it's going to go to a div with the ID that matches this ID. All right, so this whole div is going to be displayed inside of the modal that appears when this link is clicked. All right, so let's go back and this is our link where that we want to open the modal with. So we're going to use that data, data reveal ID. And I'm just going to for now just set it to my modal, just like the, the demo. And text will be add contact. Whoop. All right. And then underneath it, we're just going to create a div with the ID of my modal. Uh, and then we're going to add a class of reveal modal and then finally we want to throw in another attribute that says data reveal Whoop, just data reveal and let's just test this out okay so let's see we want All right, so that's working good. Okay. All right. So inside of the modo, um, we want our form. Okay. And what I'm going to do is just copy and paste a form. Let's first put a heading here. And we'll say add contact. All right, now let me go grab the form. All right, so let's go through this form real quick. All right, so we have a row which has two six column divs, first name and then last name. Another row for email, phone number, contact group. So we can label them friends, uh, family, friends, business. Um, and then we have our address one, two, city. I have a, a select list of US states which takes up a lot of real estate on my page, zip code, and then some notes if we want, and then a submit button. All right, I also want my mobile to have a, a close button, so that's easy to add. We just need to create a link with a class of close reveal modo. All right, and then inside of that, um, I want to put in a code for, I'm not sure which character it is. Let's go here. Um, I guess for this X character. Um, so I'm going to grab this code, put that in there. Okay. And there's our form. Okay, with our close button. So it's e as easy as that. All right, so now we're going to start the actual uh, table of contacts. So this here, this table. And we're going to create a new row. All right. 
and then we want a full column div, so 12 columns. Okay. And in here we're going to have table might be copying I might be pasting in some because this could take forever but uh, table T head and then we want a row and then we want a bunch of headings I'm just gonna grab these I don't like to do that to you guys copy and paste but I mean a lot of this stuff is just gonna take too long to type out so we'll end the table row in the head area okay and then we'll go on to our T body T body um, table row and I'm just gonna actually paste this stuff in the body uh, code I'm gonna paste in a couple of these I know it looks a little sloppy. So let me just bring these over. All right. Okay, T body, and then we want to end the table. All right, let's see what that looks like. All right. I actually want to change the button code a little bit. So inside here, okay, we have this button group. Um, I'm going to take away this radius. And let's see, button tiny. That looks good. Let's see what that does. Huh. Actually, let me go to the foundation docs and we want to look for button groups. All right, so that that looks good. Let me just grab that. We're going to change some of this stuff later on in the actual application view. Let me paste that in, get rid of this third one. Okay, so let's see. This will say edit. This will say delete. Okay, so they're very big. Uh, I want to add a class tiny. And we'll also be formatting a lot of this stuff with our own CSS later on. All right, so I guess that's good for now. Uh, Actually, I want one of them to be red. Looks like it has this secondary alert success. It's kind of weird. That didn't do anything. Okay, that turned it gray. Sorry, guys, I just haven't used this framework very much. It's not like uh, Bootstrap to me where I know all the classes by heart. Uh, alert. All right, so that made it orange. All right, so let me just copy this and 
put it for all of the entries. Uh, where are we now? Button group. All right, there we go. So that's good for now. Um, so table, we're gonna want the edit button to also open up a form, but I'm just gonna leave it for now. Uh, and we'll do that in the application. So that's pretty much it um, for our HTML. Uh, now I just wanna add a little bit of custom CSS. So let's see, I just wanna include that. So I'm gonna copy this link and change this to custom. All right, and then go to CSS, I create a new CSS folder called custom.css. Okay, open that up. And I'm just gonna paste in a little bit of CSS, changing the, the background, font size, the add button, I wanna push down a little, table, font size, and padding. Um, the button group, I wanna have those buttons on the same line. So let's save that and see what we got. All right, so that looks much better. Form's working. So I think we're all set with our interface. All right, so in the next video, we will create our database and um, the initial um, programming for our database and things like that.